hello everyone uh, very good day to you i will let you know today how we can import an um, virtual machine to vmware vsphere using vmware client utility it's very easy and uh, same process uh, what you have seen while you are exporting just uh, log on to your uh, vmware server or uh, esx machine using uh, your admin user name password so this is my VMware uh, server you can see there is uh, already I have three machines uh, one is up already and two shut down you can see this is uh, green and showing running um, you can create a new virtual machine from here go to host and new virtual machine it's a typical next if you will put suppose test go to next and uh, this is showing your uh, data stores I am using this one for uh, VMware vSphere uh, uh, application and this is my data its capacity is 557.50 GB and free is only 170, 177 GB. So I need to free first uh, um, space for new virtual machine. Uh, you can delete this uh, one virtual machine. I will delete one which is very old and I am not using that machine. Uh, you can open. Uh, for more clearance and verification uh, your uh, browsing uh, browser and see what is going on on the other side Just go to your server from here as well so you can see what is going on use your uh, credentials to log in and you can see here as well this machine is on and there are two other machines total three machines and if you will go to host you can see this uh, status and if you will go to storage you can see the storage status it's showing here 1.75 1 GB only you can also delete from here and you can also delete from uh, here I will delete from here so you can see delete from disk remove from inventory if you will remove from inventory it will maybe not clear the and not spare uh, spare the free up the space delete from disk and this is a warning as usual click yes and if you will go to your machine through browser you will again see storage and it's free now 275.16 and there is only two machines now So there is a much space to import virtual machine now just go to your uh, client utility and uh, deploy OVF template just give it a path I have saved here in uh, my D drive this is VM and uh, there is one other I need to import here it is PDC VM and select it and open it this is only one file click next 
it's showing size on disk is this one download size 4.1 GB click next and ok and here you need to select the and uh, your data store where you need to store it I will uh, use definitely data where I have uh, deleted my older version of this machine and I will import in in this space there is uh, enough space just click next leave uh, this by default before clicking next I will let you introduce about these uh, thick and thin provisioning thick provisioning will consume the entire space from the data store for example if you provision disk with 4 GB straight away gone from the data store dedicated for it it means that if your machine will consume 4 GB it will straight away consume and reserve uh, 4 GB for your disk for your virtual machine whether thin provisioning will consume only that much space that it need initially and will grow based on the demand later for example you provisioned a virtual machine with 4 GB but it need initially only 2 GB so it is going to consume only 2 GB and can grow later till 4 GB because that what you allocated Moreover, thick provision lazy zeroed is a provisioning format for a virtual machine disk that creates a virtual disk in a default thick format. Thick provision means all the space designated for the virtual disk files is reserved when the VM is created. Now I will tell you what is the difference between lazy zeroed and eager zeroed is performance between a thick disk and an eager zeroed thick disk is very small but some applications such as Microsoft cluster services and VMware fault tolerance still require eager zeroed thick provision disk so we will click next and here is the uh, summary and it's ready to complete and you can click automatically it will power on after deployment but I will uh, leave and I will click finish and you can see it started importing the machine let's see it's already in progress it's importing up to 7% and it's going very fast because the uh, machine is not very big with uh, not a very big data it's 10% completed I'll show you on other side uh, of uh, through browser you can see here it's also importing and it's also showing here the progress let's see it's also showing here 19 percent and uh, 20 percent be with me I'll be back when it will be over 95 percent Storage PC, thirteen, six, 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 here in uh, more detail only free available is 1.75 GB because we have uh, selected thick provisioning and it's already uh, provisioned or uh, consumed space required for this machine so in this video we have learned that uh, what is uh, thick provisioning thin provisioning how we can import machine, how we can create new virtual machine through uh, VMware client utility or you can use your browser uh, to perform all these functions 
I hope you have uh, enjoyed this um, uh, demo uh, and uh, you have learned a lot. Our process is just going to complete. It's already 98%. and you will also see uh, the same status here it's just for demo purposes so you can learn and it's completed successfully and it's also completed successfully on uh, client as well you can use now and you can uh, start power up machine and uh, set up your IP for your uh, network and you can use this uh, machine thank you very much for seeing this video please subscribe to my channel tech tricks